Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. So today I am opening up those winter sewing jugs that I did in a video um, a few weeks back. So back in, I believe, February, we did some winter sewing in jugs. I used different kinds of jugs. It was, a, it was an experiment and I said I would show you guys what the results were. So we're gonna do that and I will show you the different jugs and what worked and what didn't work. I do wanna put a disclaimer that um, probably three weeks into the sewing, we had a huge windstorm and I had them just sitting in my garden bed and it knocked them over. So I think there was a little bit of issue with how the seeds, like they f probably fell and it was a little bit of a mess in there. I might've even lost them out of the top. So um, that could have played a factor in how these worked out. Um, I did kind of look in some of the jugs. It looks like we're good with some, but anyways, I'm gonna show you. So the first thing we did use was these milk jugs. So I told you in the video when I was showing you how to do it, um, when I bought this, it was chocolate milk and I thought that the um, material was clear and that the milk was brown inside and which made it look brown, but it turns out that the actual jug itself was brown. And I didn't know how that would work just because it's not a clear um, jug for the, for the, uh, Sun to get through. Sorry, I'm just watching my dog chase a bee over there. It's, she's distracting us. <laughs> but anyways, so I didn't know how this was going to work, but this one is romaine. And we did have a little sprout inside. So um, it's just a, over here. I don't know what we can see and what we can't see right there and there. So it didn't work super well um, for this brown. I'm gonna open the other brown one. I have a smaller one. So I got one sprout of the romaine. And honestly, I don't I don't know how well um, some of the cooler crops would do in here if it gets too hot. It's gotten really warm here the last few days and I might have, sh I should have maybe opened them a few days ago. But regardless, let's open the other one. So here is the other, it's a smaller one. And this is the purple kohlrabi. So let's see. And as you can see in here, we actually were successful. So I think that it might just have had to do with either the seed or um, I'm not sure what other factor would go in because it did work in this other brown one here. So that's super exciting. We'll be able to plant those. Next up, I used these jugs. Um, they were a clear um, uh, green color. So this helped, hosted some water in them. So this is your um, Olympia spinach and opening it up we don't really have much activity I have one tiny tiny little sprout down there but nothing really in here so uh, spinach kind of a fail along with the lettuce um, but I do have other lettuces in here so let's see what else I have so I have a different kind of kohlrabi um, this the other one was the purple and this one is Vienna. So I used a juice jug It's an old apple juice jug and you can see before I even open this in here that we have kohlrabi so root vegetables Seem to do well with this method. So that would be a really good way to um, Start your beets beets don't transfer well, but it would be a good way to start um, Some other stuff in there all right, next up I have another juice jug. I did some snapdragons in here. Let's check it out. And I do have, whoops, I do have some sprouts in there, as you can see. So I'm actually gonna transfer these out today into my pollinator garden and get those going. Another juice jug, we have lavender, which was a fail. And two things with lavender. One, I can't even get this started in my house. I never ever do well with lavender. And with these ones, I used those easy sow seeds and I hate those. I have tried them inside, I put them outside. They're so spotty for germination. And if you know, the easy sow seeds are the ones that's a regular seed and it's usually coated in like a blue or a pink. It makes them easy to see when you're doing them. I hate those. Like every single one that I get, it seems to be so much struggle to get them. I literally soaked mine inside and I still couldn't get them to really germinate. So um, yeah, I knew, like I can literally still see the blue seeds in here. So they literally didn't even sprout, fail. I hate those seeds and I won't buy those again. But I got them in that huge 140 or 197 um, packs of 
Mackenzie Seagull. So, okay, and here I have some zinnias. So this is your clear plastic milk jug or um, water jug, depending on where you are. And we did have success in here with the zinnias. So it looks like there's there's kind of a few sprouts all over the place in there. This one probably took the big hit in the windstorm. But um, definitely, definitely recommend. And most people do winter sow in these jugs. These are like one of the most popular things to um, do them in. I personally live in, I actually got this on a cruise ship when I went on vacation and had water in here. Um, because we are, I live in Canada and you can't really get these as easily as in America. So I literally brought garbage home for my vacation. So like embarrassing, but don't care. It worked. How cool. Next up, another water jug. And this is lettuce and again nothing in here so lettuce that's two that's two fails on the lettuce and the spinach so um, good to know I have got peas in another water container and like I said you before I even open that you can see so that is super successful for the peas that's awesome and I hate starting peas inside for more than one reason one I find that they are they get really droopy really fast because it's too warm because they love the cool um, and yeah I just don't enjoy starting peas inside so this is awesome I'm definitely gonna do peas again next year in these winter sewing jugs next up I have this is neon calendula and this is in an old vinegar container um, opening this up I see two tiny little sprouts in there, if you can see them. So uh, I don't know if maybe next year I will try again and like heavily, heavily seed in there just for better germination. I started some inside because I definitely want to use these this year um, uh, for topical. I'm going to make topical ointments out of them. So I wanted to make sure I got some and they're doing super well in the house and it was the same batch of seeds. So I'm going to try it again next year, but maybe just sow them more heavily. Next I have Cosmos and another juice jug and I don't see anything in the Cosmo jug unfortunately. I think it might be the batch of seeds for this one because I tried the Cosmos in the house too and they didn't do well. I don't even think I got a single germination on my Cosmos. So it could have been the packet of seeds, it's a really old packet. So we're going to try maybe again with the Cosmos because I do want to do Cosmos in my pollinator garden. I've never had hummingbirds in my yard until last year when I had Cosmos and they were super attracted to those. So, Okay, and I've got two more things left. I used a soda bottle or pop and it is, uh, this was I think ginger ale. So I used that and this is a ruby leaf lettuce and we actually have germination in there for the lettuce which is super nice. That's the one of three lettuces that worked. I don't know if it's because it's a leaf lettuce as opposed to, um, I think the other one was an iceberg lettuce. So leaf lettuce for the win inside of the pop container. And last but not least, a dino kale. It's in another um, water jug. And we actually have some whoop, kale in here. So this is the dino kale, so it's gonna get nice and big. So overall, I apologize for the noise. My neighbors are getting their driveway ripped apart. But overall, this winter sewing is successful. So I would say this is a great way if you do not have a indoor greenhouse or a way to start seeds inside. It's a super cheap and effective way to start some seeds. As you can see, um, depending on what you're starting, it can be successful. So that is my sharing with you as to what I got this year, I'm gonna take these all out, take the lids off at least to put them back out. And then maybe tomorrow I'm gonna come out as the day's wrapping up and I'm gonna start the barbecue and we are gonna come out and plant these tomorrow. So we will talk to you soon, bye.